Hi, I'm Emmanuel, and welcome to the guided tour of the Ocean Explorer 60-foot catamaran, Like a Breeze. Before we begin, let's just go over some of the basics of this Ocean Explorer. Like a Breeze has an overall length of 18.5 meters and 18.12 at the waterline, with a reverse bow hull design. The beam is 9.08 meters and the air draft is 28 meters. The engine room is located in the middle of each hull. Two 110 horsepower style engines give not only power, but added stability as well. 1,450 liters of fuel capacity, 800 liters of water, 2 times 40 liters of heated water. So welcome on board the Ocean Explorer 60-foot catamaran like a breeze. It's a beautiful day here in Cairns. Please come on board and we will do a virtual walkthrough of the boat and point out all the things we have shown in the last two videos. From where we are standing, we are looking at the port or left side helm. The steering is hydraulic on both sides with additional backup systems. The navigational instruments are owner's choice and on this Ocean Explorer, we have the BNG H3000 series. The beer holder and ashtray, stanchions, Guard rails and grab rails on the saloon are custom made by Vivo Metal using 316L stainless steel. On the deck, you will see the flush deck hatches for the port aft cabin and head. Located close to the helm, the lines for the masts which are hidden underneath the deck are connected to Harkon electrical sheet winches, allowing for quick and easy changes. The solar panels on top of the saloon are optional and are able to maintain all critical onboard systems such as fridges, freezers, as well as the navigational system. Next, let's head to the view from the aft cockpit. From this position, we see the rear or aft of the Ocean Explorer. The davits are capable of carrying a working load of 450 kilograms. There is also an option to have a detachable barbecue grill behind the starboard helm. The aft cockpit entertainment area seats 12 comfortably, and the two dining tables can be connected to make one large dining table. There are extra storage rooms beneath each seat, and all the floors from here into the cabins are all vacuum glued teak. We now walk into the saloon or deck house of the Ocean Explorer. The first thing we see is the front door, which is a US Coast Guard approved standing hatch. Through this door, you can access the main mast. Right outside, you have a sofa and two steps to access the deck and trampoline. In the event that this recessed area is filled with water from oncoming waves, it will drain itself in less than 30 seconds. To fulfill the owner's request, the interior surface material is Canadian ash with a custom pattern, fitted in-house by Riskas. The surfaces are super lightweight 2mm surface material glued on divinous cells. Surface fabrics on the walls and roofs are all Alcantara. The television can be hidden away behind the ship's bar via electronical elevators. The starboard side forward houses a work office, which also houses the entertainment controls for the deck house. Next, we come to the dining area. This table is adjustable with an electrical elevator, and the dining space can be converted to extra lounge or sleeping spaces. On the other side of the saloon, the kitchen has a four stove gas burner and an oven. And even after leaving the shipyard for a year, the ceiling material above the stove is still pristine. This is due to the exhaust system. The black strip you see behind the gas burners is the air intake vent. The dishwasher, ice machine, as well as the 190 liter DR Inox fridge are all integrated with the same surface material. Moving to the port side forward cockpit, the nav station is fitted with touchscreen CAN bus system and comes with a Maritron Control 3D forward viewing sonar. We move next into the owner's cabin. Cooled by a mild air unit, this cabin has a queen size bed lit by LED lights embedded into the curved wall above. Around the corner are two separate storage cabinets. Two large hull side windows, both 80 cm long, bring in natural reading light. They are placed at the height where one can enjoy the view while sitting or reclining. The fabrics are matching light grey Alcantara. Unseen from this view, a glass door separates the shower and the head, and the vanity comes with a mirrored medicine cabinet. To point out the level of craftsmanship, check out the matching lines both in the roof and in the floors. 
Ocean Explorer strives for the best. Lastly, we are now standing at the forward of the boat. As you can see, none of the hatches and cleats are protruding and the carbon fiber shroud chain plates for the side stays are fully integrated into the boat. The curved dagger boards do not stick out from the deck. For a comparison, check out the dagger board on the catamaran to the right of the screen. This integrated dagger board cassette adds to the Ocean Explorer's beautiful and sleek looks while minimizing tripping hazards. And sitting only at 210cm, the height of this freeboard minimizes the windage which is especially noticeable when navigating in a marina as you berth or make your way to sea. In the middle, you can see the carbon rig and canoe boom made by Lorimer. Behind the mast, you see the open standing hatch as well as the sofas. The 100 meter anchor chain is stored in the middle storage to centralize the weight and again helping with the stability of the boat. The trampoline track on the Ocean Explorer has its own blend of e-glass and carbon fiber. The buoy is also fully made in carbon fiber housing the anchor as well as the Rackman Custom Electrical Furling. Housing the furling engine in the buoy allows maximum usage of the sail. The additional length of the buoy gives the Ocean Explorer an added option to put in another sail at its tip. The A-frame too is made fully from carbon fiber, forming a strong structure for the Ocean Explorer. Flanking the A-frame on either side are vacuum-infused teak seats, perfect for catching the wind in your hair. And because of the reverse bow design, there isn't much splashing as the boat cuts through the water. Or you can watch the marine life come up to the boat at night, attracted by the down LED lights that are installed under the buoy and in the F of the boat. This concludes the virtual tour of the Ocean Explorer 60-foot catamaran like a breeze. If you would like to be a proud owner of an Ocean Explorer, kindly contact Peter Groundholm or myself, Emmanuel Chan. Thank you for watching, and we will leave you with a short video of Like a Breeze sailing in the wind. To take your own virtual tour of the Ocean Explorer, please visit our website oqs.fi. We hope to hear from you soon. What I do, da da do, da da do.